In this video, we will focus on how to easily edit existing sheet and title block data using ID Vimlink. One of the challenges with Revit is the ability to quickly edit sheet and title block information, especially on large projects that have hundreds of sheets and lots of parameter data to edit. In addition, some title block data, such as custom parameters, are not available to us in a sheet view, and the only way to access this data is by selecting the title block and editing the parameter data. For title blocks that have instance parameters that need to be edited individually, this data editing task becomes laborious. Unfortunately, Revit is unable to schedule title blocks and title block data. Thankfully, we have ID Bimlink to assist us with editing sheet and title block information. While Revit is unable to schedule title blocks and their custom parameters, ID8 Binlink can report on title block data, making Binlink a great tool to manage sheet and title block data. The goal of this exercise is to edit title block data. And in this case, I'm interested in turning on the seal or a custom stamp, for example. However, I cannot access this information through the sheet. I have to select the title block itself to manage that data. Unfortunately, Revit does not allow me to schedule title block information, therefore I cannot edit this info in a schedule. Even if I was able to do so, if I had hundreds of sheets, it could take quite a bit of time. This is where Bimlink can save you lots of time. I'll go to ID8 software, and I'm going to click on Bimlink. I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to bring up our standard title block link. I'm going to click Next. You can see we've mapped some default properties here. I'm not interested in editing pin data or looking at the coordinate data. In this case, I want to add some custom parameters here. For example, the seal or custom statuses. And in addition to that, I still want to edit the sheet name and sheet number. I'll go ahead and start adding these parameters. Once complete, I'll click on the link tab and I'm going to give this a custom name. That way I preserve the original link. I'll hit Done, and now I'll export this information to Excel where I can edit it. I'll open the file, and what I'm interested in doing today is editing the sheet number, the sheet name. I'm going to swap out the uh, family and type for some of the title blocks. For example, the cover sheet is using the incorrect sheet. It should be using the cover sheet. I'll also change the sheet issue date to today. I'll change the seal status to nothing, and I will show the seal for all the views with the exception of the cover sheet. I'll change the status and also design, drawn, and checked by. Feel free to pause this video at any point to see the formulas and processes that I used. Once this is complete, I'll hit the save file, I'll close it, and now I'm going to import it. I'll select this worksheet. I'm going to review it in Bimlink. We can see everything in yellow is going to change, no errors and warnings, and I'll now hit the import button. When I do so, you can see now that the cover sheet is using the correct title block. The seals are on for the rest of the views and the project status is also correct. In this case, it's the permit set. Visit our website at id8software.com to learn more about our products, workflows, help, and upcoming classes. Be sure to also follow us on social media for the latest information and news from ID8 Software. Thank you.